else statement we want to uh, want to start looking at uh, what would be the next thing to do find out what our next image is so what we need to do is we need to create two variables the first one's going to be current source okay um, and we're going the way we're going to find this out is we're going to go to dot in front okay IMG and what we're going to do, do is use jQuery's source no we're not we're going to do the ATTR the attribute function and we're going to choose source so what this is going to do is this is going to grab the source of the image that's inside those divs now I think as of yet we haven't actually got that far but I'm going to do this when we move on to style in our gallery our gallery our slideshow I should say right and before we do anything we also want to find out what our next source is now we found out what this is already believe it or not um, our next source is going to be um, images because it's in our images folder um, forward slash image right and we're gonna have to concatenate the no, the current the next image sorry I'm gonna do next image and I should have a capital there so without if you weren't seeing the JavaScript what's actually gonna be put forward it's image one no space in between it just image one and then we need to attach the JPEG JPG onto the end of that so this is going to be the next source of our image okay right so now what we what we need to do is uh, the first thing we need to do is change the source of the the behind image to the same as the in front image okay the way we're going to do this we're going to do uh, dot behind IMG so this is going to select the image tag inside the B the behind div and we're going to do ATTR and we're going to do the same thing source but this time we're going to do a comma and we're going to say what we want inside this source um, I've already declared this as a variable which is next source so that's all dandy um, <coughs> so what we've done is we've taken the source from the front image that's being displayed at the moment and we've moved it to the back so at the moment we've the front and the back are displaying the same image now what we want to do now is we want to take oh that was wrong take the dot in front and we want it to css display none right now the the visitor isn't going to notice this because the front one's going to disappear but this rear one is going to be exactly the same as the one in front so they're not going to notice any change at all so this now gives us the ability to change this front image without anyone knowing what's going on so then we're going to do in front img uh, we're going to do ATTR we're going to do source and we want to make that equal to oh that's incorrect that shouldn't be next source that should be current source my bad sorry when we're changing the source of the rear image we want to make that the same as the current source as I explained earlier you need the the image that's behind to be the same as the image that's in front so we're going to use the current source there and here we're going to use the next source so we're changing the one in front now that's not actually being displayed we're going to change that to the source of the next image okay and the next thing to do would be to then oh we want in front and we're going to do fade in and we're going to declare the number of milliseconds we want it to uh, fade in there's a thousand milliseconds in a second um, I don't want it to take forever to fade in so I'm just going to put in 700 which is just under a second 
So it's going to be quite a quick fade, but it's it's subtle, which is what we want. Right, so once this is done, there's one last thing we need to do. Now, without without doing this, the the function will keep displaying the same image over and over again. The reason for that is because we're not changing this counter. Now we've decided what the next image is, and we've changed it to this image. The next image is actually now our current image. So we want to change the counter dot HTML to next image. Right. Now what that's going to do is uh, taking this this variable with the number of the current image we're going to use, and it's just putting it into that that div right this is the most important bit let's do right this is going to be our set timeout um, what this is going to do is wait a number of seconds and then repeat this function so we're going to do set timeout okay the first thing we need to do is we need to call our function and then set the delay as it says here look um, we called our function change image now I've done this I don't know how many times make sure that your change image is inside a a quotation of some sort I tend to use the single quotes because then you can use your double quotes when declaring something in here Okay. Uh, I think that's the right around. I don't know. A lot of the time, I just do it and then find out. So I'm not sure you might have to play about with that. All right, delay. We're going to give a five second delay. So that's five thousand milliseconds again in milliseconds. So after five thousand milliseconds, it's going to then run this function again. Okay. Now, as of yet if we were to do all of our styling in our images nothing's going to happen because we've made our function but we haven't called it now um, I've tried the uh, document dot ready method which is document dot ready function Ooh. that's uh, this way and uh, it didn't actually work too well because it waited for the uh, the actual document to finish loading but not other documents included for instance the images which are the most important at the moment so the way we're going to do this the way we're going to call this function is actually inside of our index document and we're going to do on load and we're going to do um, change image So once our page is finished loading, we're going to call that function. All right. So before we can start debugging this, because I promise you there will be a bug every time. My JavaScript's not amazing, so uh, there will definitely be bugs. Um, we need to put in our image tags. So we're going to do our source is going to be equal to the first image. So I'm then uh, we don't need to do that. I'm going to do images forward slash image one dot jpeg. Alt. So let's just put image. Um, and that can be the same for the in front. Right. Now let's go to our CSS. Well, we, we called this div the containing div slideshow container. So we're just going to start editing that now slideshow container gonna get the width of 900 pixels a height of I do believe it's 500 pixels um, we're also gonna put margin 10px auto 10 pixels and also this this will just center our image and give it a bit of a margin at the top and the bottom um, we also want to put overflow as hidden we don't want anything overflowing um, we're also going to do slide show 
container. 